Conflict is endemic to social and human interaction. There's conflicts within families, there's conflicts within communities, of course there's conflict at the workplace. We're seeing it a lot more in the media, in everyday politics. Things like the Me Too movement, conflicts around migration and labor. Almost all of our interactions, we're bound to find some conflict sooner or later. Some of it is very informal conflict, and some of it is very formal conflict in the form of maybe collective bargaining or grievance handling. I think it's on a more societal level and nationwide that people are much more, um, you know, see conflict and don't see an opportunity or space to be able to resolve their disputes. If there was more problem solving, and finding common ground in our work settings, in our communities, in our nation, in our world, we'd be a better place. We exist for the purpose of deeply studying conflict to figure out why it happens and how it happens. We then use that information to educate people, to train people, and to help them in the practice of conflict resolution. We do that through three core methods. One is research. We also engage in teaching, teaching our students on campus at the undergraduate and graduate levels, but also teaching working professionals. Last but not least, we provide consulting advice to organizations. So our strength is that we combine both research, practice, and work with students all at very high levels, and we try to integrate those uh, three dimensions. We benefit from the fact that with the ILR school, the leading institution studying work in the workplace, and also with Cornell University, that draws top-notch faculty. We, we study the, what's going on in healthcare. We study what's going on in education. We study what's going on in the sectors that matter throughout the country. Some groundbreaking research into the arbitration process. We've used that research in various different briefs and arguments that we've made. This is very important material. The Supreme Court, in one decision, cited Dean Colvin's uh, research. So uh, we're dealing that research at the highest level. Our mission um, is to unite uh, research and practice, uh, to make sure that research is informing practice and practice is informing research. So our research informs our teaching. It helps us provide better teaching to not only the students on campus, but to working adults. There's a long history of people from various organizations coming to New York City and engaging in the labor relations and employment relations and other types of programs like that here. The professional development programs are offered uh, not just as part of programs that any organization can come to, but organizations come to us and ask us if we would come in and work with their professionals as a group. In addition to that, we also provide online programs. The Scheinman Institute actually allowed us to start looking at things to say, give people opportunity and they're going to surprise you and you're going to see you have a lot more talent in different places and that's a benefit to your organization. We're applying things we learned in the training and actually using it in real life. It's not just theoretical. During my time as head of labor relations for the city of New York, many city managers, supervisors, and union officials improve their dispute resolution, negotiations, and managerial skills through courses offered by the Scheinman Institute. From the perspective of employers, utilizing alternative dispute resolution procedures to resolve workplace disputes is preferable to litigation in state and federal courts, which is expensive, time-consuming, and extremely confrontational. Through our skills-based and interactive approach, I teach students on campus and in our professional programs dispute resolution including online dispute resolution, contract interpretation, effective discipline, and collective bargaining, all the while emphasizing the importance of the labor management relationship. Having conflict management skills makes one a better professional, makes one a better manager, makes one a better colleague. I think the Scheinman Institute in particular is changing the world one person at a time. The fact that the Institute is connected with ILR School is an opportunity for many generations of students to really understand and participate in conflict resolution. The Scheinman Institute was a really big reason why I came to Cornell. Um, for me, I was always interested in conflict resolution and it gave me the opportunity you know, to have that classroom experience, but also hands-on experience as well. 
there's students at all levels. There's undergrads and grad students like me. There's international students like me and students who are American. So it's a very diverse program. Teaching these things at a college or in law school to a diverse set of students will ultimately bring about more people of a diverse nature in this field. And if we all take these steps to promote mediation and we all do our bit, I think we can achieve something spectacular here. That's what the Scheinman Institute has the potential to do. Using negotiations, thinking about conflict as an opportunity to problem solve for a better life. It's the world's top institute studying the area of workplace conflict resolution. There's no place that stands up to Scheinman in terms of its expertise in this area and the insights it can provide.